It's all about building and growth for the 2014-2015 FDU men's basketball team. After an exciting first season under head coach Greg Horenda, which included wins over in-state rivals Rutgers and Seton Hall, the Knights are looking for even more in year two. With just a few official practices under the team's belt, coach Horenda is happy with what he has seen thus far. I'm, I'm extremely happy with our attitude, our energy, uh, our enthusiasm. Um, and our youth, you know, we have seven newcomers to our basketball team, but each young man brings something different to the table, and they're trying to figure it out, so it's not going to happen overnight, but uh, I'm really happy with the, the team and how it's coming together at such an early stage. There are plenty of new pieces to this year's team. Co-captain Mustafa Jones likes what he has seen from the newcomers. We're fast, athletic. Um, we just get after it. Guys, they want it. They, they want to get better. They ask questions. No one's afraid to, to ask questions to learn. Um, guys get in the gym on their own, get extra shots. The young guys, they actually text me like, stop, let's go get us some extra, some extra shots. Let's get extra working. And I'm all for it. Co-captain Matt McDonald has also seen a tremendous work ethic with the new additions. Yeah, you know, I think we've got a lot of guys who are gym rats, you know, guys who want to get in the gym. They want to get better. Um, and, you know, they're basketball players. They'll, they'll do anything they can to get better. Um, you know, we've got guys from, you know, Darius has experience and Ty and, um, you know, all the five freshmen are going to help us really. You know, they all bring athleticism and um, just the ability to just help us out there on the court and win basketball games. With the departure of multiple team leaders, including Sidney Sanders Jr. and Matias Siland, players like Jones and McDonald must step up their leadership roles. McDonald talks about the upperclassmen leading the way. Right, you know, I think the biggest thing we can do is just kind of show the younger guys the way, you know. Um, you know, I've only been here for a year, um, but, you know, through that year of experience, you know, you kind of feel like you've been through the wars a little, so you can kind of show guys, you know, the, the right way to do things. Um, so I think that's our biggest job is just kind of show guys the right way um, to do things and, you know, just, just do whatever it takes to win. That's our biggest goal this year. In terms of expectations for the season, Jones simply wants to use last year as a stepping stone. Just to build on last year. I mean, we were picked last. This year we picked ninth. We really don't care what people got, like what they think about us. We're just gonna go out there and prove it. The best team will win. And we just want to build. We want to get into the playoffs. We want to actually win a game. We want to host a game here. I mean, we just want to. We just want to compete and be known as a hard-nosed team that just goes after it no matter what. For Coach Horenda, hard work is the biggest key to continued success and improvement from last season. I just think we have to continue to get better each day. And every drill and every possession, um, if we get better, we're going to do better. And uh, I think the foundation has been set. We work really hard. We try really hard. We do our best. And now we've got to do everything just a little bit better. And it's hard to do with young guys, but but these are talented young guys. And I have talented, you know, you know Xavier Harris is a very talented low post player. Miles Mann has improved. Um, I, I've got a lot of players, and uh, it's going to be hard to find the time for everybody. But they're going to get what they deserve, uh, and the program will will grow on how much we improve. And we, we've improved since every day that I've been here, and I'm confident that that will continue this year. The Knights have a month to go before their first scrimmage at home against Felician College. The regular season gets underway in Philadelphia against St. Joseph's on November 14th. I'm John Lauder for FDU Athletics.